Hello and welcome. Today we will look at some, at some more questions regarding roots. Here we have a question square root 54 divided by square root 6. First of all, we meet the factors of root 54 and they will come out as under root 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now, uh, as we know that it is in a square root, so the pair of 3 will come out as root. And in the root, we will have remain under root 6, which will be divided by for under root 6 in the denominator. And the answer will become out as 3. Now, we will look at another question in which we have to simplify in the form n under root 3, where n could be any number that is 1, 2, 3 or any number. Like we have, we have a question here 12 under root 3 minus root 27. First of all we will take out the LCM of root 3 and uh, here it becomes 12 minus root 3 into root 27 divided by root 3. We will um, take 3 and 27 into the one root and their factors will, would become 3 into 3 into 3. Now both the 3 uh, come out of the root as they both are the pairs. Now 12 minus 3 multiplied by 3 divided by root 3 will come out after simplification. In order to remove the root 3 from the denominator, we will multiply and divide root 3 by, by root 3. Now we have 12 minus 9 divided by root 3 multiplied by root 3 into root 3. The root 3 in the denominator will become under the one root and will come out as a pair. Here we will have 3 under root 3 over 3. Now the 3 will cancel out and root 3 will be the answer, which is the same form which will be required that is n under root 3. Here n is equal to 1 and we cannot write 1 so we will only write root 3 as an answer. Now we have another question which we have to simplify in n cube root 3 form. Here we have a question cube root root 3 power 4. As the, there is a power 4 so we can write root, uh, cube root 3 4 times. And by uh, collecting them under one root we have a pair uh, we have 3 4 times. But as it is a cube root to so the pair of 3 numbers of 3 will come out from the root and root cube root 3 remains under the root and this will be your answer. It is the exact form which is required from you. Here n is equal to 3 and cube root 3 is the exact required form after simplification. Now look at another interesting question which we have to reduce the expression in n under root 2 form. We have a question 2y under root 2 minus 3 is equal to 5y under root 2 plus 1. First of all, we will take out the LCM on the right hand side. Now the expression will become 2y root 2 minus 3 is equal to 5y plus root 2 over root 2. The root 2 uh, in the denominator at the right hand side will go uh, and multiply on the with the expression on the left hand side. After multiplication of root uh, under root 2, and with the expression at the right hand side, we will have 2y root 2 multiplied by root 2 minus 3 under root 2 is equals to 5y plus root 2. Now we will uh, take both the two under one root and they will come out as a single entity because they are the pairs. So we have 2 multiplied by 2y minus 3 under root 2 is equals to 5y plus under root 2. Now we uh, take the expression involving y at the left hand side and shift the expressions on, which involve on the numbers at the right hand side. Here we have 4y and as 5y will come out on the left hand side from the right hand side so the sign will be changed and after changing the sign it will become minus 5 5. Similarly we have root 2 plus 3 under root 2 at the right hand side. Now 4y minus 5 5 will become minus y is equals to under root 2. Now we will take under root 2 as a common so we have remained 1 
plus 3 inside the bracket. Now minus y is equal to 4 under root 2. By multiplying minus sign on the both side we have y is equal to minus 4 under root 2. Now here we have n is equal to minus 4 under root 2 and it is the same as expression which is required after simplification. Here we have another question will, uh, uh, in which we will perform certain operations involving root. Here we have two brackets 4 under root 3 minus root 2 multiplying with another bracket uh, which comprises 4 under root 3 plus under root 2. First 4 under root 3 first expression will be multiplied with the whole second bracket minus sign will be take out as it is in the middle and root 2 will multiply with the whole expression. Now we have uh, after multiplication 4 under root 3 multiply by 4 under root 3 plus 4 under root 3 multiply by under root 2 minus sign will be taken as it is in the middle and we will uh, use the larger bracket here 4 multiply by root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 multiply by root 2. We have 4 into 4 16 under root 3 into 3 plus 4 under root 3 into 2 minus 4 root 3 into 2 plus root 2 into 2. Now after further solving we have 16 into 3 as uh, 3 into 3 come out from the root because it is up here plus 4 under root 6 minus we have an expression 4 root 6 plus 2. Now opening the bracket we have 48 plus 4 root 6 minus as minus plus minus again a minus 4 root 6 and again minus plus minus 2. Now 4 root 6 of positive will cancel out with the minus 4 root 6 of negative. Now we have 48 minus 2 and the answer would become for 46. Now we will going to perform another operation which is rationalization or removing the denominator. We have a question root 6 under root 2. In order to remove the uh, root from the denominator, we will multiply and divide this question with root 2 under root 2. Now we have root 6 into 2 divided by root 2 into 2. Now 6 uh, into 2 is equal to 12 and 2 will come out as a single entity. Uh, by making the factors of 12, we have 2 into 2 into 3 under, uh, divided by 2. Now 2 uh, into 2 is up here, so it will come out from the root, remaining 3 under the root, which will, uh, the root 2 which is come out of the root will be divided by the 2 in the denominator and the answer will be root 3. Now continuing with the rationalization question, we have another question which is 4 under root 3 divided by 2 under root 6 plus 3 under root 2. In order to rationalize the denominator, we will multiply and divide this question with the expression which is present in the denominator. But before multiplying and dividing, we will change the sign of plus into minus. Now we have 4 under root 3 divided by 2 under root 6 plus 3 under root 2 multiply by 2 under root 6 minus 3 under root 2 divided by 2 under root 6 minus 3 under root 2. Now further solving, we will have 4 under root 3 multiplied by 2 under root 6 minus sign will be taken in the middle and now 4 under root 3 will multiply by 3 under root 2. In the denominator we have 2 under root 6 multiplied with this whole expression of 2 under root 6 minus 3 under root 2 plus signs will be taken out as it is. Now the second expression 3 under root 2 will be multiplied with the whole expression of 2 under root 6 minus 3 under root 2. Now after further solving we have 8 under root 18 minus 4 into 3 12 under root 6. In the denominator we have 4 multiplied by root 6 into 6 minus 3 into 2 is equal to 6 under root 12. Plus now we will take here a bigger bracket 
which is uh, now the expression will become 6 under root 12 minus 9 under root 2 into 2. In the numerator, we have 8 under root 18 minus 12 under root 6. And in the denominator, we have now 4 multiplied by 6 minus 6 under root 12 plus 6 under root 12 plus minus, minus 9 into 2. Now, after further solving, we have 8 under root 3 into 3 into 2, which are the factors of root 18 minus 12 root 3 into root 2. Root 6 can be written as root 3 into root 2. And in the denominator, we have 4 into 6 is equal to 24 minus 9 to the 18. Minus 9 into 2 is equal to 18. Now we have 8 multiplied by 3 under root 2 minus 12 under root 3 under root 2 divided by 6. Which will equal to 24 under root 2 minus 12 root 3 root 2 over 6. We have uh, written uh, root 6 as root 3 root 2, so uh, we will uh, we can take a common out of it. As we have root 2 in both the expressions and 12, root 2 will be taken out as a common. Now, we will be left with 2 minus root 3 inside the bracket divided by 6. After further solving and dividing 6 and uh, 12 with each other, we have 2 root 2 bracket 2 minus root 3. Now 2 root 2 multiply by this, these expressions, we will have 4 under root 2 minus 2 under root 6 and this will be your answer.